What's up, everybody? So, uh, today, real quick, um, a couple of people have asked me about the uh, battery grips. Uh, battery grips are great. Uh, if you're doing mirrorless camera, we're in sort of the beginning stages of this mirrorless technology, and it eats up some battery. Anybody with a mirrorless camera knows, uh, these things just suck through battery. I, I, I don't really, I don't know why, I'm sure there's an explanation for it, but I don't have it for you right now. But, um, I do have on the EOS R that I'm filming myself on right now, um, I've got uh, a battery grip on there and it is Canon brand. Um, I think it was, I don't know, right at about 300 bucks. Um, so I wanted to, just for the sake of experimentation, and of course, for the sake of saving money, um, I wanted to try out this guy, um, and I guess it's, I guess it's Velo, v Velo, Velo, I'm not really sure, but, um, but anyway, it's the BG C9, um, everything looks about the same, this thing was half the cost of the Canon brand, um, I don't know if, you know, if it's gonna last as long, I'm not really too sure, but anyway, um, I will show you how to set this up, if you have a Canon brand, uh, battery grip, it's going to be the same exact thing, it, there's there's no difference. The only difference between the two that I did notice is that on the Canon brand, uh, right here on the side next to these alternate triggers, there is a plug-in and that is for a uh, like a USB-C type plug. Um, and normally it would be like right there, but obviously on this one it's not. But anyway, um, so on this one, uh, there's nothing here on the Canon one. There's a plug-in and that you can actually charge it without Dislodging this from the camera body. So first things first I'm gonna show you guys how to put the batteries in these hold two batteries um, It's gonna be contingent on whatever camera body you have so depending on whatever camera body you have That's gonna be that's gonna determine which one of these you get they're compatible with usually like a range of models um, One thing I will say is that Canon's Canon's was heavier but it felt like heavier duty, like a like better quality. Um, but I mean, at the end of the day, you know, the grips are still the same. They're ergonomic. Everything seems fine. So as long as this thing performs, I mean, for uh, 149 bucks, you know, uh, if I can save 150 bucks and it lasts me a couple of years, I'm I'm happy with that. Um, okay, so here's how you set these up. We've got uh, we got a couple of batteries here. Um, these are both Canon brand batteries. I've got some other off-brand batteries. I, I don't know why I feel weird about using them, but uh, I, I know they're the same, but still, it's just, I don't know, <laughs> a little bit weird about that. Um, but anyway, so I'm going to show you the layout of this thing. Okay, good, that thing focused. So what this is, is it's just showing you um, basically a little arrow in the number one and an arrow in the number two, and then there's two little contact points. On the battery, you've also got these two little contact points as well um, down here at the at the bottom. What you're going to do, all right? I'll do this nice and close to the camera so y'all can see, because uh, this threw me through a little bit of a loop. You, there is an arrow on the top of this battery here. You're going to push down and snap it in, and that's it. Same thing with the other side. We're going to two contact points there, two contact points there. You know, push down, snap in, and that's it. So, what is this, you ask? Uh, this will go to our actual battery grip. And what happens is this goes in just like, uh, just like a magazine on a pistol. Um, slide it in. There's no, uh, obviously, you don't have to slam it. Um, I actually recommend you don't slam it. There is a little... Uh, twist right here at the end, okay, and this twists back and forth, all right, so what you're going to do is you're going to twist it like that, and then just snap it in there, and it's closed. One thing I will tell you is when you pop off, I'm going to show you guys the bottom of my uh, 5DSR here, when you pop off the bottom, okay, of the camera, usually there's going to be a little, the, the little latch that actually opens and closes, okay, that latch, and this was friggin' genius, I thought, because I'm like, oh my god, here's another thing that's gonna get lost, right? So check this out. On this, there is actually a storage space for your little latch. And there's your little latch right there, and it actually stores it for you, right? And 
boop, snaps right in there. So anytime you want to get rid of the battery grip, you can, or if it breaks or whatever and you're out shooting, and then your battery's not exposed and falling out of there. So, very important, you've got your contact points here, same thing here. Obviously, these two things go together. Just be very careful with the contact points. Um, they do give you a cover, so when you're not using this, they want you to take the batteries out. I just dislodge the whole thing, and that's usually fine. Um, but you should use, use the cap and cover up the, because if these get corroded, you're not gonna get full uh, battery power, and that would suck. So, basically it's just real gentle. There's no clip, there's no, uh, nothing clips it in. What you'll see is there's a little locking mechanism, right? And this little locking mechanism here, you're gonna spin until you get it, um, until it engages, and it's on both sides if you wanna do it from both sides. It's pretty easy, I'm just spinning it right now. Um, I usually recommend just finger tight, and then just nice and snug, nothing crazy, and then it's, you know, it's pretty much uh, it's pretty much pretty snug up in there. Um, one other tip I will give y'all: uh, there is an on and off button. Okay, Let's see if you guys yeah you guys can see that. Okay, so this is an on and off button here, right? This doesn't turn your camera on and off. This turns the battery grips. Uh, basically, I call them third-party controls. Um, what these are is if I'm shooting like this, right? I'm out I'm out shooting like this or whatever. Um, if I want to switch over to portrait. I can click this on and now I can hold my camera portrait and use the trigger that is on the battery grip. There's also an autofocus uh, on, there's a couple other uh, settings on here as well. So I can use this as a second toggle. I do recommend if you're not going to use this and you're shooting landscape, make sure you turn that off um, because I think it does use a little extra power. Uh, not, Don't quote me on that but they said, said, I read the manual and it said, make sure you turn it off, so. Um, but anyway, yeah, and then you just power it up like normal and, you know, works fine. You know, double the battery life, so I'm happy with it, 149 bucks, you know, if it, if it explodes in the next, uh, you know, before I make the next video, then I will change the video and I will make a video on, uh, you know, the Velo exploding uh, battery grip. But until then, I think it's actually a pretty good buy, and I was really surprised. Um, you know, I think I, I think I got this from B&H, um, and yeah, so so far so good. So I mean, you know, if you're tight for for cash, and the, but this is something you want, go ahead and grab one. Um, I'm I'm happy so far. I've been shooting with it for a little while. I like it. Um, anyway, but uh, but yeah, all right. See y'all later.